Welcome to The Boiling Point. Really excited today as we always talk a lot about steam, but today we're going to talk about hot water. Got Daniel Ware with me and we're going to talk about heat exchangers. Now we have a lot of boilers that are um, uh, steam boilers, but sometimes we get the request that you need hot water. So Daniel, why don't you take us through how do we take steam and make hot water with this? Okay, we have steam coming in here. You have your water in and your water out. Okay. Okay. So as your water is moving through the tubes inside of this heat exchanger. Which is a bundle. It's right? a bundle and your steam is on the outside. That's where you get your heat transfer. Okay. So as it's coming through there, as your water is coming through, your temperature controller is sensing the, uh, the temperature. Okay. And then we will regulate the steam flow right here. Okay. So as our temperature uh, it is our desired temperature is met, then our, our valve will then shut down and stop the flow of steam as soon as we get to our desired temperature. Okay, so we pull the boiler up. Basically, you tap into the inlet right here. That's right, here. that's right. <clears throat> and then go ahead and put the steam in, which we have 150 PSI rated boilers. We've got 250 PSI. We've got yeah. larger heat exchangers, of course, for even uh, bigger jobs. But in this particular instance, 150 PSI is what you'd be using a boiler like that? Yeah, this is 150 pound rated. Okay. So typically you may be putting 125 PSI okay. in this unit here. Okay. Um, as far as temperature goes, this can go up to 375 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, it's set up to be at 125 degrees. That's mm -hmm. kind of typical for what customers are asking for. Okay. Um, but if we need to change that, we can put a different controller on mm -hmm. and we can adjust the temperature. 125 degrees, 60 degrees, all the way up to you know 375 degrees, okay. if so desired. Now, how do you balance the um, actual flow of the water? I mean, sometimes you might be just rolling through here. How do you balance the flow on? This? Sure. Typically, you'll have a, a butterfly valve on your inlet and outlet. Okay. Uh, you can do it multiple ways. You can get very sophisticated with back pressure regulators, control valves, whatever else. But typically, you just put a butterfly valve on here, okay. and then you throttle the butterfly valve based on what, what your temperature is and making sure you're getting your delta T, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the desired delta T right here. Okay, condensate. That's what right. What do we do with that? Uh, right here you have your condensate return. Uh -huh. so it comes out of the unit, it's trapped, and then you, that will just get piped directly back to your condensate return system. Okay, now are you just flowing cold water in this? Just, just throwing straight cold water in it? Typically, I mean, yeah. it's gonna go out to your system. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go out to the system. Mm -hmm it's going to use however much temperature mm -hmm. and then it's going to be on a loop so okay. it's coming back so mm -hmm. it will be tempered water okay so it's not like you're putting just city water okay. into these typically okay can now, you yes okay now if it does cool down what do we have this little dude here for uh that's a vacuum breaker okay so what that's there for is as that unit cools down and it has to go to pull a vacuum on it mm -hmm. to prevent from collapsing the shell side of this the vacuum breaker will allow air to come in to the unit. Okay, all right, good. All right, well, we appreciate it. Uh, there you have it. Steam to hot water using a heat exchanger. Really appreciate you, Daniel, hanging out, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. We well, appreciate Daniel giving us a little bit of explanation about steam to hot water with the heat exchanger. You know, winter's fast approaching, and I hope that you guys are checking out all of our boiling points to make sure that your boilers are prepared for the winter season that's coming up. And if you need us, you certainly could give us a shout. We appreciate you watching. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.